The show finally opened on December the 17th, 1887. It was a private matinee for the mayor, local councillors, civic dignitaries, etc. The big wigs of Salford. Uh, some general public were allowed in, and it was packed to the rafters. 8,000 people attended the opening matinee. Now, the show began with the entire troupe coming out on horseback, some 200 people. And the last one out was Buffalo Bill and his horse, Old Charlie. Old Charlie was his favourite horse, and he'd done it for many, many years. Now, the show was in several different tableaus showing the history of America. Now, the first one, first tableau, it was just called Discovery of America by Man. And all it shown you was Indians with tame animals on stage, including a bear. It was just showing a very rural, nice aspect of life before the white man got there, basically. The second tableau depicted the Pilgrim Fathers landing at Pilgrim Rock and being met by Pocahontas, a slightly fictionalised version, to say the least. But in between these tableaus, Buffalo Bill would ride round on his horse, doing tricks with his lariat lassoes, herding buffalo shooting glass balls that were thrown in the air. Oh, all in all, pretty spectacular. Um, then the real action began. There was this tableau scene called the Cattle Ranch, uh, the plucky frontier people being attacked by the Native American Indians and obviously being rescued by Bill and his brave bunch of cowboys. Uh, it was made for quite compelling viewing, actually, as you imagine. There was also one called the, the Cattle Stampede. This was pretty impressive because these special effects something which was quite news of those days. They had cattle grazing, and they did this effect of prairie grass on fire, but they used steam vents under the stage, under the auditorium, to give the impression of clouds of smoke and terrified the animals, as well as the audience. Uh, but it was all in all, it sounds a really dramatic event, this uh, prairie fire. It was, it was all the smokes and mirrors, if you'll pardon the pun. And then there was a strange scene, it was... The death of General Custer at Little Bighorn. Now, Buffalo Bill actually knew Custer. Uh, the irony is some of these Indians on the troop were the Sioux Indians, I think the Oglala tribe, and some of these were responsible for the actual massacre. I call it a massacre, I don't think it was actually, but... Uh, so they were like reenacting history that they'd taken part in. And the final shots was of Bill riding up too late to discover his old friend... George Custer dead and lamenting, too late, too late was the cry. And then he proceeds to take his revenge upon the poor Native American Indians. The final shot shows uh, is a mining town. Cowboys laughing, drinking, having shooting competitions, etc. Until they're rudely interrupted by, I think you guess what's coming, they're attacked by Native American Indians once more. And once again... Bill rides to the rescue, saves the day and uh, a happy ending for all. The lights went out and uh, it must be really impressive as I say with 8,000 people. The lights come back on and there's everyone on stage, the full troop with the animals. Buffalo Bill does a lap of honour on his horse. Um, all in all, it was a really, really impressive show. Now Bill was a... Uh, by all accounts, a very generous man. He was good to the children of Salford. Many, many occasions for the matinees when he was here for the five months. There was free attendance for school children of Salford and there was many poor schools in Salford. Uh, schools from Charlestown, St Joseph's, Hankey Park area. They'd all come and be... For a, a child of that age, see a spectacle of that magnitude. It must be magnificent for them and um, Bill is to be commended for that. During one show, Bill was presented with a watch by the Freemason Lodge of Salford, Lodge number 935. Now, it'd be interesting to see where, if you've got any record of this, the, the Freemason Lodge. Um, but it was just a nice gesture given to Bill. Um, as I say, these, these children must have been amazed to see the circuses and the performance. I read one newspaper account that said that when they were filming the part about the little big arm where Custer had been killed by the Indians, the kids were moved to tears and some of them wanted to get on stage and actually help Bill out fight the uh, Native American Indians. That was how strong the impact was for him. I just think it's a great... Now, the council were going to thank Bill in their own special way, but a little incident happened which caused them to change their mind, and I'll tell you about that in a few minutes.